Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to talk about my favorite games of 2020. You probably heard this before, 2020 has been a terrible year for all of us. But one thing that pulled me through was of course video games. This year turned out to be the busiest year for my channel and we hit many landmarks including 550 subscribers. I'd like to thank you all for the support. I've live streamed many games and plan to do even more with the continued support. So hit like if you want to help my channel grow and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'm gonna only include the games or content released this year in this list. There is no specific order except the first one, so let's get into it. It's Spider-Man. Need I say more? Okay, it's a Spider-Man game from Insomniac who made Spider-Man for PS4. Enough said. Best game. 10 on 10. Next! <laughs> Jokes aside though, I've discussed this with so many people. Spider-Man games have so much potential, but in the wrong hands, the game could crash and burn. <coughs> the Avengers! <coughs> Insomniac not only created a beautiful narrative, but filled it to the brim with lovable characters such as Miles Morales. I'm gonna be honest, while playing through this game, I was like, screw Peter, Miles is my favorite Spider-Man. In the first game where you feel like Spider-Man, here you learn to be Spider-Man. With all the responsibilities, what would it be like for a kid when you get powers? This dynamic was showcased beautifully in the comics for Peter, but since the first game had an older Peter, they achieved that here with Miles in a beautiful way, with his own set of supporting cast that is equally well made. Not to discount the gameplay though, swinging feels amazing as always with new animations to Miles that clearly show he is new to this and combat gets an extra layer with Miles' Venom powers. The story it tells is gripping and fun right through and through. It's a short game but I'd rather have a short finished game than a long buggy one. <coughs> Cyberpunk! <coughs> Oh boy, here we go. There are two types of people in this world. People who hate this game and people who love this game. I'm on the latter type. I absolutely adore this game. It is a technical masterpiece. Let's get that straight. The things this game does, the things that Naughty Dog did when it comes to attention to detail, they are unmatched. The world feels alive, characters have never felt real and the variety of animation in this game is borderline insane. But let's address the elephant in the room, the story. While yes, the pacing could have definitely used some work and the storytelling bits could have been better, that's not to say it's all bad. Look, if you're looking to play a heartwarming tale to ease your lockdown situation, this ain't it chief. The story is gritty, sad, heartbreaking and gruesome. There is no silver lining, there is no hope in this game. This is probably why most people hated it. Regardless, it is what it is and the story they told is compelling and gripping. Ellie's downfall is painful to watch while other characters get more added to their humanity giving back the same feeling that we got in the first game, if only a little bit. Honestly, this is how things would have gone down if it was real. We all saw how people were fighting for toilet paper when the pandemic hit. Freaking toilet papers. That was a priority for most. Here in The Last of Us, they have no resources for 20 plus years. So yeah. Also the acting is top notch as usual, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson returning as Joel and Ellie respectively give their best performances yet. Laura Bailey on the other hand steals the show. Overall, I love this game and it deserves most of the awards they swept away from the award show. Okay, I know this is not a 2020 release, but with all the updates, new seasons and changes, it feels like a new game, for better or worse. So let's talk about it. Respawn released 4 seasons in 2020, 3 of them were during the lockdown. Not to forget the exclusive events, so kudos to the team. Apex Legends will always have a special place in my heart. Hey, I started the channel with the review for Apex Legends, so there's that. The updates could be a mixed bag and some meta changes did not sit well with me. Some of the new legends were not great except for Horizon in Season 7, which was by far the biggest update. 
The new map Olympus is my favorite map to play now. I do miss Kings Canyon but I'm not that mad. Olympus is great. Horizon is probably my favorite new legend but I don't get often to play with her. You know why? Because Battle Pass. Yes, the changes they did with Season 7 Battle Pass progression was plain stupid. And many people felt the same which caused an uproar among fans and Respawn had to make changes and even offer 10 extra Battle Pass levels which still did not solve the core issues. Adding to that the deceiving store items, hard legends or weapon based challenges, fans were not happy. But then again, it's fun to play and the only thing you do buy are cosmetics so I'm okay with that. The core game is fun, addictive and rewarding. At the end of the day, that's what matters to me and I doubt I will put down this game anytime soon. One word, Nostalgia. This game was such a pleasant surprise, a sequel that took 26 years of wait. I remember playing Streets of Rage 3 on my Sega Genesis when I was just 6 years old and thought to myself beat em up games will never get better. 25 years later, it just did. Streets of Rage 4 was by far the best thing that happened to me in 2020 when it comes to gaming and it managed to keep all the fun elements of the original game and add so much good stuff to it. With the support of 4 player co-op, multiple unlockable characters, the story that continues where it left off is just a blessing in disguise. The graphics look amazing, the combat is fun as hell, the level design is superb, bosses are tough as nails, you get the idea. It's just amazing. If you haven't played this game or any other in the series, I highly highly recommend you give it a try. You will not regret it. I had my wife play this game with me till 2 past midnight. That's saying a lot. Give it a shot. The other games were in no specific order but this, this is the best game I have played in 2020. You can say Ghost of Tsushima is my game of the year for 2020. Where do I even begin? Sucker Punch has been one of my favorite developers ever since I fell in love with the Infamous on PlayStation 3. The sequel Infamous 2 just one-upped everything they did with the first. The launch of PlayStation 4 was a bit rocky as Infamous Second Son was a bare bones open world action game with not much going on. So they went back to the drawing board to craft one of the finest Japanese samurai games that I've been begging Ubisoft to make for years. Ghost of Tsushima is beautiful, fluid, with an amazing combat system and world building that had me hooked from the opening title. Which side note is possibly the best title reveal sequence for me in any game ever. Just look at it. The music, the view, man, just mesmerizing. The journey of Jin Sekai felt personal. I was rooting for him at some points and appalled by his actions in others. But I understood where he was coming from and why he did what he had to do. Jin's moral compass became my own and made the three acts that much more engaging. The combat duels are unlike anything and the more I got into it, the more I felt rewarded, which is what pushed me to platinum this game. My first platinum of 2020, second only to Spider-Man Miles Morales. The fact that my cousin worked on it made it even better, which gave me more insights into making of the game and made me appreciate the game even more. All this was before the Legends update dropped. That made this game 100 times better. Trust me, don't miss out on this gem on PlayStation 5 which supports 60fps at 4K, so there's no reason why you would miss this. It is going to be a challenge for Sucker Punch to 1-up this and I'm pretty sure they're up for the task. That's all for this list, I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
this is my personal opinion and from the games that I have played. Feel free to let me know if there is any game that I left out or you want me to play. And what is your favorite game of 2020? All that down in the comments below. Videos like this take a lot of time to make, so a like to this video would be amazing and subscribe for more content. It's literally free and goes a long way to support me. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I will see you guys in the next video.